Hello my loves and welcome back to our workout challenge. Today we have an abs and arms workout. All you need is your mat and some wrist weights if you want them or you can grab some water bottles to get some weight into your hands. But we're gonna get right into it starting in a kneeling position. Start by rolling those shoulders down and back into their pockets and bracing into your core by bringing your rib cage in. Your shoulders are gonna stay down as your hands raise up to shoulder level. Starting to warm up through those shoulders, starting to warm up through those arms. It is pretty windy where I'm at, so I'm sorry if you can hear that wind in the audio, but let's just keep moving, focusing on that core, focusing on your arms. Arms are coming out, four, three, they're gonna start coming out to your sides in two. And on one, let's lower it down, continue to warm up through your shoulders, continue to warm up through your arms. I want you to feel that tension, like there's something heavy on the ends of your fingers that you are having to lift up and reach out to the sides of the room. Try to make sure that this stays nice and controlled, nice and even movement for three. Pulsing your shoulders out for two. And in one, let's pulse. I want you to continue to focus on that core. We're gonna really get into it in a second, but for now, I want you to make sure that core is braced as you're pulsing your shoulders up and down. Again, reaching out to the sides of the room with your fingers, really pulling your long straight line of energy across your chest. We're gonna bring our arms up into a head position in three, in two, and in one. Arms are coming behind your head. I want you to extend and twist and come back up just for a few motions with your hands behind your head to really get the feel of twisting through your core. Here we go, four, three. Four, two, bring your arms out on one. So now we're continuing to have our arms stretched out so we can find that tension even if we're not working that arm. So I really want you to think about reaching and twisting with your core. Twisting and reaching for a three. Here we go, four, two, and on one. Let's go ahead and take it to the ground. I want you to plant your hands behind you. Place your feet in front of you. We're gonna start with some tricep dips. Hands are planted. I want those shoulders to come down and back. Brace through your core, and we're just gonna be dropping here. So option here, if you're not able to place your hands behind you on the mat, you are welcome to do this one hand at a time. But I really want you to try to broaden out through your shoulders, push out through your chest, and drop it down. I know it's windy. You can probably hear it, but I promise your muscles don't care. Here we go, four, three. Here we go, pressing through those shoulders as far as you can, four, two. And on one, let's go ahead and drop it down, pushing through those triceps, resisting through the floor, four, five, four, 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 three. Keep your core braced here, four, two. And on one, we're gonna pop up onto your heels. Drive your heels to the floor, drive your palms to the floor, brace through your core. So make sure that your booty isn't dropping and that your tailbone is staying rolled under. We're dropping here now. Here we go, four, five. Good work, four, four. We're gonna get even spicier in three. You guys are doing great, four, two. Here we go, on one, extend those lovely little legs. And I really want you to focus on lifting your booty to the sky, tuck that tailbone under. We're gonna drop four, five. Holy cow, I know it's getting tough, four, four. Good work, keep that booty dropped. Keep it squeezed, don't let it drop. There we go, four, two. And on one, let's bring it back up to the sky. And I want you to bring one leg in at a time, squeezing out through your core pushing your palms into the ground. Keep your chest nice and tall. I want you to keep that tailbone squeezed up and under. Keep that breath moving into your nose, out through your mouth. Try to relax your shoulders down towards the ground, four, five. Squeeze that booty up, I know it's hard, four, four. Here we go, four, three, yes you can. Focus on this, four, two. Don't do that thing where you tell yourself that you can't and then you don't even try. I want you to at least try here. We're holding, squeezing it up, four, five. Four, three, two, one, go ahead and release it down. We're gonna come down onto your back. Rolling down, I want you to plant your heels into the ground. Hands are gonna come behind your head and we're gonna start with cross crunching. Now, if you have the weights on your wrists, I want you to focus on pushing out through your shoulders as we cross crunch. Even if you don't have any weights, I still want you to focus on pushing out through your shoulder, really lengthening, there we go. So we're crunching in through those obliques and trying to bring a little bit of that shoulder and arm work into it as well. Four, five, good work, four, four. Taking everything you can from this movement. Four, three, every time you pop up, I want you rolling your spine off the ground. And we're gonna go ahead and relax on one. Bring these arms up into tabletop, legs into tabletop, and now we're pulsing out. Again, squeezing up through those shoulders. Pretend that you have something heavy on the ends of your fingers that you are having to lift up. So you really are tapping into and engaging through those shoulders. Keep your chest 
up towards the sky. Keep those shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Make your S sound, brace your core, bring your pelvic floor in. Here we go, four, five. Good work, you guys, four, four. Amazing, four, three, we're gonna hold this in two. And on one, turn your palms to the sky. I want you to try to make a fist like you are pulling something towards you. So now we're working in through those biceps. You're really thinking about pulling something nice and heavy towards you. Maybe there's a string, a cable in your hands, or there's something that you are picking up and really engaging as you pull towards yourself. You do have the option to relax down if you need to, but I want you to try to keep your core engaged for three. Good work, four, two, and on one, go ahead and relax. Good work, you guys. Rock your legs out side to side to release to that core. We're gonna go ahead and pop back up. Coming into a plank, dropping those knees down to the ground. You have an option to stay in a modified plank. Squeeze those hips down to the ground, and we're gonna drop into a push-up, or you can pop up into a full push-up. Absolutely up to you. You're still getting arm movement, so it's completely up to you. We're gonna go four, three. Good work, you guys. Four, two, take whatever, move, move, whatever movement you can, and on one, go ahead and pop it up. We're gonna squeeze up into a pike. We're gonna tap, tap, and tap, so left and right, drop those hips back down, come into a push-up. So squeeze, I want you to intentionally come into this pike and then push through your shoulders as you tap left hand to right foot and left foot to right hand, there we go. Dropping down, squeezing up, come into a pike, tap right hand, tap left hand. Every time you squeeze, I want you to make sure you're squeezing with your core, pushing through your shoulder, here we go. We've only got three more. Keep that beautiful little pike. Drop those hips down, roll your tailbone under, do one more push up. And by one more, I mean, we still have one more after this. Good work, you guys. And this is one amazing work. Woo. Pushing it up and tap. Good, and tap. We're gonna bring those hips back down and I want you to stay here for five. Four, four, don't cry and don't kill me. Here we go, four, two, and one. Tap shoulder to shoulder. This one is always a killer, especially if those abs are already sore. I want you to try to place your weight into the palm of your hand and tap shoulder to shoulder. The goal here is to keep those hips squeezed down to the ground and try to rock back and forth as little as possible. I know this one is brutal. Even I have a hard time keeping my hips stable, but I really want you to focus on pressing your weight through your shoulders and strengthening out. Four, three, four, two, release on one. Let's go ahead and find a child's pose. Drop those knees intentionally. Keep things slow even as you stretch out. You guys, I am proud of you for showing up for yourselves, for making this a part of your daily routine. We're doing so good so far. We're gonna finish this off with one final ab and arm burn. Give yourselves the credit you deserve for showing up, for sticking through this, and give yourself the justice of really seeing this to the end with everything you've got. So I want you to keep those feet planted on the ground. Shoulders are coming off the ground into a crunch, extending these arms, and I want you to pull them up beside you. So think about drawing something heavy with those shoulder blades and extending. So every time you extend, I want you to push your fingertips with energy to the front of the room and then draw your shoulders back. There we go. Really think about working on these posture muscles, squeezing out through your triceps and through your shoulders to bring you back. Every time again, I want you to think about pulling something heavy with you as you go. There we go, four, five. You guys are doing great. Four, four, keep that core braced in. Four, three, think about rolling your rib cage in. Four, two, and we're gonna pulse it up on one. Pulse it out and up. So pulsing up towards your shoulders. Again, try to keep that core engaged. Four, three, four, two, now you can roll it down on one. Beautiful work, you guys. Bring those knees into your chest. Let's stretch out through your arms, bringing your right arm across your chest. Take a deep breath and release. Let's grab that left arm, take it across. Exhale and try to release that tension. Good, bringing your right arm up and over, stretching out through your tricep, grabbing onto your right elbow, switching to that left side, grabbing onto that left elbow, pulling it behind you. Now grabbing your hands behind you, Interlace your fingers and stretch your chest open to the sky. Dropping your neck side to side. 
good work, you guys. I'm so proud of you for showing up for yourselves day after day. I see your commitment, I see your growth, and I hope you feel so confident and so encouraged through the rest of your day. I'll see you on the mat tomorrow. Love you.